a small health resort near the German border with Belgium and Luxembourg. The Prüm Regional Historical Association organizes a range of activities to stimulate interest in the town and the Eiffel region, from guided tours and exhibitions to literature festivals and school visits. The aim is to preserve the natural and cultural heritage and help people discover it. Our goal was, since the founding, our aim has always been to make local history accessible for everyone. At one time it was the preserve of specialists. Nowadays we have made it possible for anyone with an interest to join in. And they do, as our association's membership of 2,000 shows. They are from every walk of life, from school children to professors and even the state premier. Prüm lies in a wooded, hilly nature conservation area that straddles the German-Belgian border. The town has a population of some 6,000 and a history that goes back to the 8th century. In the town centre is the Basilica and the former Benedictine Abbey. The association's tours provide expert guidance to a rich history. Monika Rolev welcomes her tour group to St. Saviour's Basilica. A local businesswoman, she does this work on a voluntary basis. History is her hobby. This church is special, she says, not only for Prüm, but for the whole Eiffel region and beyond. Monika Rolev helped to found the association in 1982. Her own main interests are local customs and monuments. Today's group learns that the Abbey in Prüm was founded in 721, the first monastic foundation after the Irish-led Christian conversion of Germany got underway. St. Saviour's Basilica, which houses notable treasures, played an important role. So we sind here in we're now in the choir, she explains, and in the shrine before us is the most precious object venerated in this church, part of Jesus Christ's sandals. Before I explain the relic, she says, let me tell you a little about the history. The tours provided by the Prüm Regional Historical Association not only serve to encourage the townsfolk's interest in local matters, but also serve the requirements of the town's fairly brisk tourist traffic. Working with the local tourist board, the association reaches some 10,000 people a year in this way. This year we've described the history of the town and of this church to several thousand people, she says. And next year we plan to work even harder, because it sees a very special anniversary. In 1999 there will have been a church on the site of St. Saviour's in Prüm for 1200 years. We intend to mark that as a special occasion, she says. The Kalimba singers, from the town's music school of that name, are singing to mark the opening of a show of art by members of the association, a musical embellishment for the visual arts practiced by some of the association. The choir are not alone in valuing their connections with the association. The local savings bank supports the amateur historians and regards this form of involvement in local affairs as particularly important. The manager. Bereits zum 12. Mal stellen die Mitglieder des Geschichtsvereins ihre Werke aus. 
This is the twelfth exhibition of work by members of the Historical Association. The bank is glad to be able to support the arts. We feel it is important to play a part in the community. The bank has long had close and fruitful ties with the people of the region, and I should now like to present the exhibitors with these books as a sign of our appreciation. This event is a reminder that history is about people's lives today. It was scheduled to coincide with the Advent mood of quiet contemplation. The Christmas Mangers by Ria Krump uphold a seasonal custom. This one has been located in a setting that recalls Provence in southern France. Painter Rainer Streitz's oils and watercolors emphasize the natural beauties of the Eiffel region. A forester by profession, he paints the landscape as he sees it. Just as the members support the association, the association supports them in return. I'm pleased to have this opportunity of exhibiting my paintings without having to organize the show myself. The association did it all, including the publicity. All I had to do was paint the pictures and see them hung. It's ideal. But it's more than just a showcase of local talent. The exhibition also highlights the rationale behind the association's work. It keeps history alive, says this woman, by showing its relevance to the present day. People may learn from history, she says, see their own lives in a new light, and maybe think more deeply about things. This man suggests there's no longer much historical awareness generally in the region, so the association's work in recent years has had a real impact. The Prüm Messenger, this quarterly publication, is one way the association keeps in close touch with members. The editors bring close and critical scrutiny to bear on the choice of topics, the layout and possible improvements. The association has some 2,000 members who receive the messenger free of charge. It's included in their annual membership fee of roughly $20. For members beyond the region, or even in some cases overseas, the magazine provides a link with home. To date, there have been some 60 issues, and the earliest have become collector's items. 1995 was a special year for The Messenger. The magazine was voted Germany's best local history journal. This China Sparrow is the Oscar of the German local history scene. The figurine is now kept here, in the association's archive. Rainer Grubert's task is to catalogue the collection of documents in word, image and sound, and maintain some kind of order. The association collects everything of local interest, cultural, scholarly or scientific, and the archives open to all. Naturally, the association's own publications are kept here too. Since 1982, it has issued more than 30, two-thirds of them out of print. The focus is always on the history of the Prüm region, from medical matters to banking to the Bishop's Seminary. the history of the postal services and the early history of the Rhineland as set out in the Golden Book of Prüm Abbey are also represented. The association is involved in the present as well as in the past though. At the third Eiffel Literature Festival held recently, which focused on books for children and youngsters, the association staged an event devoted to the adventure of reading. Author Hans-Peter Pracht came and enthralled young listeners with a ghost story. Darkest night, and a door creaks slowly open. 
Public readings add a vivid dimension to the experience of books. The association promotes books set in the Eiffel region, from ghost stories or whodunits, to a novel set in the Second World War. It all helps to awaken interest in the locality. The historical association is chiefly interested in the landscape and people of the Eiffel, the natural world, the customs. At the literature festival, these things are reflected in novels, stories and poems. It's an imaginative approach to the region. The hands-on approach to literature is the order of the day at this writing workshop in a local school. The children contribute their own ideas and observations and watch a story grow. The workshops conducted by journalist and literature teacher Ingrid Peinhard Franke and together with the children she's developed a story set in the Eiffel. This angle on literature stresses storytelling, inventiveness, description and the sheer fun of writing. And in the end, the products read aloud. A group of children lose their way in the woods. Suddenly, a ghost appears. It is white and green and purple and shrieks, woo woo. The children are frightened out of their wits and they all cry out, ah! The girls hug each other tight but Michael breaks a branch off a tree and hits the ghost on the head. As well as these workshops, the Historical Association organized a children's writing competition for the whole Eiffel region as part of the festival. And an Eiffel Literature Prize was awarded too for an outstanding literary achievement in which the region plays a main part. It's one more way to direct the public gaze to the Eiffel. The rising generation of literary talent is being honoured at this prize-giving ceremony for the children's writing competition. Work was sent in from the entire region. Organising this event alone put huge demands on the association's volunteers. But it's an important occasion for them, another public reminder that the Prüm Regional Historical Association is not just about the past, but very much about the present too.